latest on this. Paul. Tom, Michelle, as you can see behind me, there is still a police presence here at the scene of the fire that happened early this morning. Right now, law enforcement tells me that the biggest concern is the structural integrity of this building, and that's why they are not searching through the rubble quite as much as they normally would in a different situation. Locals are shocked by what happened. Boyd Stewart was in downtown Sturgeon Bay to get a hamburger. He did not expect to see this. The entire place has burned on the inside and it's all caved in. And I was down at the art gallery across the street and I couldn't believe it because, I, you know, it's been there a hundred years and I've been in there several times over the years and couldn't believe that it's gone. Police tell us the current owner has owned the bar since 1972. There were some diehard guys that loved to go to Butch's. There are 20 rooms above Butch's bar. Nine were occupied at the time of the fire. Our investigation is trying to find their whereabouts. One person has been found dead. Another is still unaccounted for. A third is in a burn center being treated for injuries. The challenges with the temperatures are challenging. There's no getting around that. No injuries to any uh, firefighters or any mess personnel or law enforcement. Firefighters say the roof and second floor collapsed and the structure is unstable, making searching difficult. They are also helping the people who live there and got out. We have several uh, businesses that um, have opened their doors uh, for um, you know, any, anyone that needs uh, warmth or shelter. Um, so as Sturgeon Bay does uh, typically, uh, our community has stepped up. Police are right now trying to identify the person who they found the body of in the rubble of the fire. They, they're not sure how long that is going to take. Live in Surgeon Bay, Paul Sino, Local 5 News. Thanks, Paul. And uh, police, by the way, are telling people stay away from that area for the time being.